let's begin with that first question that I have, what is executive function? So as I said earlier, it's an umbrella term for all of those complex cognitive processes that control flexible goal-directed behavior and, the, and our emphasis on the flexibility. Cognitive flexibility in our work we see as key and we've actually shown that in many of our, our studies as well. Um, and the second thing is coordination and synthesis of multiple processes and subskills. So it's the ability to pull together different pieces of information, to synthesize them, and to integrate. Um, we also know that executive function is controlled by the frontal and prefrontal cortex, um, and actually the sort of aspects of the parietal <laughs> lobe that are also involved in executive function um, processes. And the analogy that, that I use in, um, in talking about executive function is that of a Rubik's Cube. And the reason I use this is to, is to point out that the, the, the processes are interconnected so closely that we, that we cannot see them as separate. I think people often want to see these as separate processes, whereas in fact, they, in, they are, if, you, uh, if you impact one, if you affect one, if you're teaching to one, you actually often affecting and teaching to all of these processes. So goal setting, um, sh cognitive flexibility of shifting, memorizing, the working memory pieces, organizing and prioritizing, and self-regulation, self-monitoring are the key processes that we, that we see as important. And the, the, the model that we use is this one of a clogged funnel, that we are living in, a, in an age when information is coming into the brain constantly and rapidly. And so many of us as adults, as well as the students that we work with, our, all our kids, are on overload a large amount of, time, of the time. And so what happens is that information gets, it's coming into that funnel and it 